All right, y'all, so I've done a few tests on YouTube and I found some interesting results and some of the ways to grow very, very fast on the platform. Now, you may be shocked to find out some of the channels that I still use today just started as a test for me. Specifically, this channel that you're on right now is actually one of those tests. Now, this is one of three channels that I started at the same time in the same month and I went from zero subscribers on them all and monetized all three in less than 30 days. Now, the way that I did this, this that's what I'm gonna be breaking down in this one. Now, if you actually want to see the behind the scenes analytics inside of the channels, where you can actually see the, each video, I go inside some videos and I break down the tags, titles, description, everything that I did, like how I approached the content to start slowly taking over and build the channels to hundreds of thousands of subscribers and stuff like that. If you all want to see that type of in-depth breakdown, I have released a course that you can find in the description or the first comment of this video, but I am gonna continue making the free content for you all because I know that a lot of people may not want to buy things or purchase things and you still wanna be able to grow your channel. So all the information that I give in these videos are still going to be able to help you do just that. Like this is going to be just as valuable as, as a lot of the free stuff out here. So yeah, that being said, um, some of the fastest ways that I found to grow on YouTube, how I was able to monetize three channels in less than, um, pretty much less than 30 days. It's just really consistency, finding the right ideas and being consistent with it. Cause a lot of people don't have consistency. What you have to understand is you're not going to be a good content creator. So you trying to release a video every day, every other day or every, every week or something like that. You're just, you're increasing how long it's going to take you to actually get good at making content, to actually get good at learning what's a good title, to actually get good at learning what's a good thumbnail. Now, the more you put out a bunch of videos, a bunch of videos, a bunch of videos, and I'm not, I'm not just talking about releasing a bunch of trash. I'm talking about try your best. Like, when I start a new channel, or mainly on my channels, period, I tend to put out like at least three videos a day. I, I put out three videos a day. So at the point where I'm doing that, it's like I'm getting a bunch of feedback from different videos. I'm getting people's thoughts on different videos, different perspectives, and then I'll release a lot of different types of content. So if I release a gaming video, if I release three gaming videos, if I release three videos on a different game, then I release three finance videos and then three YouTube tips and tricks videos, I'm processing information. Okay, the gamers want me to do this and, and be a little bit more upbeat, more energy, blah, blah, blah. The, the finance people, they're like, oh, we want to hear about Elon Musk and Trump and, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, okay, that's what they want. Then the YouTube is like, yo, how do how much does this niche pay and stuff like that? Then, so I'm literally, I'm, I'm seeing in real time different people's responses and reactions to my videos that's constant, that I'm constantly absorbing, taking in, thinking on, and then releasing content on the channel, you know, catered and geared towards the things that the people are actually requesting, which makes it easier. Because if you're not dropping enough content, you're not gonna reach enough people and people aren't gonna be saying anything. And if people aren't saying anything, it's a lot harder to know what people want because they aren't saying anything because you aren't posting enough. So that being said, you gotta up the amount that you post. You need to be posting a lot of content. Now, alpha. This is some this is some this is some 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 tips some some tricks that people may not know. You may not know these things because people don't talk about it enough. YouTube only sends out 3 notifications. After 3 notifications in a day, all of your videos after that is not going to be sent out. This is great. Like this this is a great thing because check it out. If you have a smaller audience, maybe a 1000 subscribers and you don't want to piss off your early subscribers by spamming them with content, you drop three videos, those three videos hit their notifications, and then after those three videos, none, none, none of the other videos that you drop is gonna hit their notifications. So you could drop 10 more videos. And if, if all 10 of the, like you drop 10 more videos, they're not gonna be annoyed or bomb, bombarded by that because you know YouTube is not gonna keep spamming them notifications. So that means that those videos that YouTube did not send out to your subscribers, essentially what YouTube is going to do with those videos is put them straight through to the algorithm to attract new people to your channel. This is slept on. You put a bunch of videos out and each video is attracting something different. And so it's it's a clutch thing to not only target your own audience, but target people outside of your audience. And after three videos is when the real work starts. That's, that's literally when the real work starts. That's when you are free to make whatever content you want 
and you don't have to worry about your own like i have a gaming channel that's mainly focused on asia and then i've dropped videos completely unrelated western games after i dropped my three videos of course and then that fourth video it does fine as well and then i look at the analytics it's like everybody who watched this video not subscribed beautiful thing so yeah that being said you you drop as much content as you can you get better at content you start getting used to looking for ideas getting ideas and figuring out what needs to be posted you just get better at everything you get better at being a youtuber as a whole you you edit better you start to know what a better thumbnail is you know start to know what a better title is because this whole time that you're posting all this content and i would not recommend doing three channels at once by the way like I, I, before I did this experiment on YouTube a, a year or so back, before I did this experiment, I already had like five plus years of experience on YouTube as a YouTuber. So literally, I did not go into those three channels blind. <laughs> I, I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew exactly how to find what videos would work, what videos would pop off and go go viral for this community and stuff like I knew exactly what I was doing. So I went in, I specifically targeted something, and I hit every single target. And that was just mainly for my ego, to make sure I really know my stuff the way that I think I know my stuff. And that proved it for me, how I was quickly able to monetize three um, channels. Because YouTube is very strenuous when it comes down to the mental strain it puts on you. It puts a lot of mental strain on you, like the ups, downs, and stuff like that. It can mess with you sometimes. So sometimes, like, even when you're successful, you got to be reminded who you are. So I'm like, you know what? Let me take a step back and appreciate who I am and where I am. But then I'm like, am I washed up? I Have I did something in the last, I, I got popular 10 years ago. Am I still, am I still nice? Like, maybe I don't even deserve, you know? So it start messing with your mind. I'm like, forget that. I'm finna do it. And I do it and I do three channels in 30 days. I'm like, okay uh, okay i know what i'm doing <laughs> you know like so that boosts my own confidence so i can keep going on my own mission and purpose and figure it out with the confidence under my belt to know oh i really know what's going on you know this is not just i didn't get popular by luck and then you know i'm washed up now i'm like i really do this so yeah that that's sometimes i i do things like that just to keep myself in zone so this is the information that I'm sharing with you all right now, how, I, how I'm able to do stuff like that. So essentially you have to know the tags, you have to know the titles and the, and the description and all that, but you post content, um, you post consistently. And then don't just post, you can't just post one video. I'm looking at a lot of channels of people asking me for tips and advice. If they if they even are posting, they're, they're um, posting like one video every few days or something. That's not enough content. You're trying to compete with people on this platform posting every single day. Luckily, most people on the platform is only posting one video a day. Pop out three. And for me, three is lazy. Three, three is lazy if, you're at, if you ask me. Because I feel like after three, that's when the real game begins. Because after three, you don't, you don't know how many times I'll post three videos just to cater to my audience who subscribe to the channel for certain content. And then after I post those three videos, I post a fourth one that's completely targeting a whole different audience and that that fourth video pops off because that audience that other audience likes the video that I posted. That's the best feeling in the world cuz it's like it's it's not it's not as good as the people that you know mess with you supporting you, but it's like if you've been doing a certain type of content for so long, maybe you want to, you know, express yourself in a different niche, you know, free you feel you get locked in the cage where oh, we only want to see this from you. I'm like, I, I, I hacked the system. I hacked the system. You only want to see that from me? Cool. YouTube is going to make sure you only see that from me. I'm going to leave it to YouTube to, to make sure you only see three videos, and that's what you're going to see from me. So I'm going to give you what you want for three videos. After three videos, it's my time. It's time to go for that niche. It's time to go for that niche. Which one of y'all niche is messing with, with me? And if you'll notice... That's actually, this is a finance channel that you're on right now. This this content, I see people from my other audience kind of coming over here. You, you know you have haters on every channel. They kind of come over to this channel and be like, oh, this video don't get views when you're not talking about this topic. Just stick to this topic. When they find, they, and, but these are people who actually go and look for my channel, look for my content, and go and look at these videos. They're going through my videos, looking at stuff, trying to roast me. 
not realizing that whole time I'm making sure specifically they have the smallest chance possible of even seeing these videos. So every the, when they talking about, oh, only a hundred people viewed this video, your other ones got over a thousand. When they saying that, I'm I'm sitting back. <laughs> Everybody who saw this video though, that's all a brand new person. New people are seeing me. That's a whole different niche. Like this, this is like. It's a great thing. It's it's a great thing and a great feeling to know that you are in control like that. You 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 know it, it's like that. It's freeing knowing that you can expand because they want to hold you back. They want to put you in a box. But after three videos, chains off. Do what you want, and if you're good enough, you will be able to make videos and content that resonates with different people, and you'll see which audience messes with with you. So yeah, like I'm saying, like. Y'all, if you're seeing this video, you're more than likely looking for tips and advice on YouTube. That is by design. I'm not lucking up doing this. I'm specifically making content that I know I would have wanted to see and I would have needed to help me if I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm specifically coming up with these these titles and 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 thumbnails. Well, I'm not even really doing thumbnails. I'm just really giving y'all game. Like that, and, and that's how lazy the content can be because. You can be lazier with a thumbnail if you know what you're talking about because it don't matter what it look like. I don't gotta be groomed. I don't gotta sit here and do too much if I really like that. You know, I can really do what I say I do and I really prove proven to do it. So I don't gotta do too much to sit here and, oh, let me make the best looking thumbnail. I mean, well, is that more likely to go viral if I have some edited crazy thumbnails and stuff like that? Possibly, if I have a big production, is that, that more likely? To, yeah, in this generation, it's more likely to go viral. But also, I can just tell y'all the real, when you listen to it, you test it out, you try it, and you be like, dang, that worked. Guess what? You'll be back. You, you'll be back, you know? So you're gonna see, and then I'll break it down in a way and give you a perspective that nobody else is out here giving. So that that's, that's, what I, that's my approach to things. So it's really simpler than you think. After you post them three videos, that is when it's game time. A lot of people barely posting one video a day. How you trying to grow for real? You know, don't focus on multiple different channels. Don't focus on multiple, you know, focus in on your, your niche. And honestly, if you know the niche that you want to be in, you don't even have to just um, make three videos. If you're a smaller channel, like if you have zero subscribers, oh my goodness, that's the best time to be a YouTuber, bro. The best time because you don't even have subscribers to it to, to annoy. Why are you not dropping 10 videos? Now you can't spam, like this is what I'm saying. It can't be trash. If you drop in trash, YouTube going, oh, he's spamming, that's spam content. But if every video is banger, 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 or at least what you can do at the level that you're at. You're trying your hardest, you're doing your best. If you're trying your hardest and you're doing your best and it's absolute trash, you can still get caught up in spam. Like I'll be on like so so may, maybe don't try to do too much if you're not sure of your content. But if you make somewhat decent content and you know that you're just slept on, go. Go crazy, especially if you don't have subscribers. Easy work. Like people stop at the sometimes people do one video a day, sometimes people do three. It's like, yo, know, three is when the game starts for me. I've I've done a test. I, I actually gave a channel away. Like, check this out. I gave a channel away. I downloaded all my videos from a YouTube channel and I mass uploaded them on another channel. That other channel blew up. I, I uploaded them all on the same day and then I started posting three videos a day. I, I monetized that channel in two weeks and then I gave it to my cousin. I kid you not, this is the type of stuff that I do for fun, the type of tests that I, I, I run. Like It's like, there's so much potential, there's so much you can do here on the platform, but you know, you just gotta, you gotta stay woke, you gotta keep a, keep a, you know, keep a mindset where you're, you're trying to constantly improve, constantly try different things and keep going. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't wanna, you know, talk your, talk your head off. This is some tips on how I've grew the fastest. You just, you post a lot of content. You get better skill-wise. You, um, you get into the algorithm. You get way more chances in the algorithm. It's simple mathematics. It's very, very simple mathematics. If everybody that I'm competing against is posting one video a week, if that, or one video a day, if that, me posting three videos a day, I get three times the chances of being seen. By the time they have 30 videos for the month, I'll be at 90. And that's if I only stop at three. Come on now. I get I, I get 90 videos on their 30. Come on now. It's simple math. You're more likely to be seen the more that you're grinding, the more that you're posting. Now it does take a commitment. You have to be committed. 
So it's a mindset thing. It's a mental thing because you can't be wrapped up in what, because we'll talk about the mental strain that YouTube puts on people. We'll do that in another video upcoming here. Cause yeah, that's something that you got to get over to. So yeah, that being said, hopefully this was helpful. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.